Finiscus Arc's buildings are made with bricks that are made out of recycled plastic. That makes it a great alternative to wood, concrete, and metal. In addition to being made from recycled content, the bricks are a truly recyclable material that can be used over and over again. No trees are destroyed to manufacture this product, and it releases no toxic chemicals or greenhouse gases into the environment. Its resistance to decay and ability to withstand severe weather ensures a lifetime of use without sacrificing the look of the product. Even in a hundred years, this recycled plastic material will look as good as new. Plus, no maintenance or replacement is needed, which can save thousands of dollars to the builders and tenants. Plastic is typically softer than other building materials. To improve its strength, the plastic is mixed with minerals that add strength, increase durability, and decrease expansion and contraction. Since the minerals are not an organic material, the plastic bricks are therefore resistant to rot, mold, mildew, insects, water, and other decay. Why did our ancestors choose to build round, Mongolian yurts, North American teepees, and Greek temenons, among others? These shapes reminded them of eggs, earth, tree trunks, and stones. It especially reflected their surrounding. Buildings of the future should be round. They are more comfortable, more energy efficient, and safer, especially if you combine the ancient shape with modern materials. Wind and tsunami waves move naturally around the round building rather than getting caught and potentially ripping off corners. A rounded roof avoids a situation where a strong wind lifts the roof structure up and off of the building. The natural thermal dynamics of an open-at-the-top architecture, round space uses no external energy to circulate temperature. Mm -hmm. It works like this. Heated air naturally rises till it reaches the insulated ceiling. It moves up the dome ceiling until it reaches the center skylight, which is cooler. The air reacts by dropping to the floor where it moves across the walls and rises again till it meets the skylight and drops again. This action constantly circulates the air and temperatures in the whole building. Round buildings use less floor, wall, and roof materials to enclose the same place as a rectangular structure would. This makes it a possibility to make a bigger living space for a smaller price. The solar curtain walls that surround each building in Finiscus Arc provide a lot of possibilities for the integration of solar energy in a new, efficient, and ecological way. The solar curtain wall provides a multifunctional solution where not only clean and free energy is being generated, but also natural illumination is being provided. Another advantage of the solar curtain is the filtering effect, when infrared and ultraviolet radiation is blocked and not led to the interior. In addition to that, it enhances thermal comfort and helps to avoid interior aging. For many of us today, heating is a problem because of high electricity bills or the sound of a fan or the circulation of dust or pollen but Faniscus Arc's Homes of the Future has floor heating which is an ancient but elegant concept. Years ago the Greeks and Romans realized that heat rises. They heated the floors of their baths with wood fires. Now 2,000 years later the principle still applies the best way of warming a room is to heat the floor rather than to try and make heat travel sideways from a fireplace or radiator. Finiscus Arc's floor heating is simple. It works by using the floor as a giant radiator. Special discs that are made of recycled plastic are also solar collectors. They are laid out on the floor and generate warmth from the sun. In addition to being solar energy and warmth collectors, our disks are also geothermal energy and warmth collectors. We hope you will visit Finescus Arc someday. Thank you for watching. <laughs>